Any woman 18 and over must know about Infrared Science's Sentinel Breast Scan. It's an infrared breast scan that may detect the earliest signs of cancer, 10 years before other screening tests. The Sentinel Breast Scan is touchless, painless, radiation-free, and cleared by the FDA. Early detection begins with a phone call, 631-240-9268, or a visit to InfraredSciences.com. The Sentinel Breast Scan is your first line of defense against breast cancer. It's used by the military, meteorologist, and now in modern medicine. And it could save thousands of lives finding one of the leading cancer killers of women before the disease ever forms. Scoping out cancer hotspots in a Fox report from Jamie Colden. It's used on the battlefield to track the enemy, in satellites to see hurricanes on Earth and spectacles in outer space. Now this same infrared imaging technology is being used as an early screening tool for breast cancer. Dr. Rasha Simmons, a breast surgeon at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center, is currently conducting clinical trials on this non-invasive FDA-cleared system. The theory behind this is by scanning the breast and looking at temperature changes on the skin, you'd be able to see a hot spot, an area that had a higher temperature. First, a blast of air cools the breasts. Then a heat-sensitive camera scans them for abnormalities. The camera does not emit any radiation or any ultrasound waves. Higher temperatures appear red, which means there's increased blood flow to an area, something often associated with new blood vessel formation. This also occurs when cancers are forming. Still, Dr. Simmons says she won't know the results of the study until after it ends in a year or so. I need you to stay perfectly still for me for four minutes. But in Long Island, New York, at the office of Dr. John Gomes, who is not participating in a study, the results are already promising. There are people who we have, we have screened that have screened positive and have, and have gone on for more intensive or more frequent traditional testing who have been found to have a suspicious area probably several months, if not years, prior to what it would have been. Here, the infrared scan is open to all patients. Angela, we'll let you know what's going on. Meantime, doctors in Colorado, Massachusetts, Louisiana, and New York are also offering the test. It's not covered by insurance and can cost between $150 and $300. In New York, Jamie Colby, Fox News. We bring you the second part of our series on medicine on the cutting edge. Robin and I have talked a lot about mammograms and ultrasound and talked with you as well about the hope that someday there could be maybe a new technology that would discover potential cancer before it became actual cancer. So I decided to journey into the future of breast cancer diagnosis to see if I could show you what's new and coming our way. How is it we haven't heard about this before? Well, it's relatively new. This is the Weill Cornell Medical Center in New York City, where doctors are testing a new computerized version of a very old technology, infrared technology called thermography. In fact, look at this. It was created decades ago to map the heat from an enemy missile that might be approaching the U.S. Well, a growing cancer produces extra blood vessels, and blood vessels produce extra heat. So if you were sitting here, for example, as a patient, mm -hmm. then there's this puff of air that comes out and would actually blow on the breasts. And then this camera takes a picture looking at the temperature gradient. It really sort of looks like Hey Dashbury, no. you know, in the 1960s. <laughs> it's a very kind of trippy looking screen here. So the machine works this way. You strip down, cool air, like an air conditioner, blows on your breasts. Breasts generally don't have a lot of vessels, so they show up gray. As you can see, you generally have extra vessels in your neck and face. That's why mine are red. But if extra vessels show up in your breast... And you see where you're clothed, it's cooler, so mm -hmm. not surprising. Right. Now, the whole principle that this is based upon is that when a cancer develops, mm -hmm. it creates a new blood supply. So because of that, an area around a cancer will be warmer than the surrounding normal temperature. Here I am, I want to establish, I'm just sitting here in this perfectly pleasant room. I happen to be clothed, <laughs> but I wouldn't be if you all weren't here. And this is the air that's going to blow in on me. Mm -hmm. 
it's, lifting it from an air conditioner. It's really yes. not uncomfortable at it's all. It's front of an air conditioner. It's not even chilly. It's just cool air. I'm hoping that this will be a way to detect any problems in my somewhat denser breast tissue. Karina Sackmar, who's taking the test, has a family history of breast cancer. She's in the high-risk category. Neither her mammogram or sonogram have shown any problems, but we look at the result of this scan. And in particular, this little pink spot right there is abnormal. Mm -hmm. So what that's saying is that hmm. that particular area in the patient's right breast and the upper outer quadrant is suspicious for having cancer. But scientists will learn more from the 21 machines now scattered across the country. So the hope of medicine right now is if we can't cure breast cancer, every little step in detecting it can make a huge difference in a life. This is not a presidential campaign, and it's not like we're only going to have one you know, winner. In this situation, we need to use the best of all of our testing in order to help each woman with early detection of breast cancer. for a mammogram or a sonogram. News from Long Island's Mary Musi tells us about the centennial breast scan in today's Long Island Naturally. They take your breast and they throw it on the slab and they squeeze you. Mammograms can be painful, but Doris Salazar gets one every six months. That's because she's a breast cancer survivor. Now relax. She's also a technician for an entirely different kind of scanning device. No squeezing here. This machine uses infrared photography to detect the increased blood supply that feeds cancerous tumors. You're looking at an infrared picture of my face. This is the same technology used by the military for night vision. Not only is it pain-free, but a new study shows that for some women, this device may be superior to mammograms. Theoretically, you'd be able to find a cancer earlier, perhaps before it be seen on mammogram or ultrasound. Dr. Rishi Simmons has just finished a clinical trial that compared the sentinel breast scan to mammography. Mammograms are just not as sensitive as we'd like for them to be. And this technology may be better than mammograms in young women with very dense breast tissue to be able to find a cancer early. The computer compares your scan to that of known positive or patients who have known breast cancers. It is invaluable with respect to screening in those women who aren't going to go for screening otherwise. That's a big population. Dr. Simmons' study won't be published until next year. Meanwhile, hundreds of Long Island women have already drawn their own conclusions. This is amazing. I believe in this 100 percent. Everybody should encourage their doctors to get this technology in their office. In Garden City, I'm Mary Musi, News 12, Long Island. Wow, good information. Head to news12.com, click on the features link, then navigate to Long Island Natural. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Introducing Sentinel Breast Scan, a revolutionary non-invasive cancer screening procedure for women of all ages that may detect cancer up to 10 years in advance. It's safe, touchless, painless, accurate, and FDA cleared. To learn more, call 1-888-EASY-TO-SCAN. Now you know. Sentinel Breast Scan, the first line of defense against breast cancer.